Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the crispery crispy cakes. These are marshmallow rice treats. We have tried a bunch of these in the past on the channel. And they keep coming out with more flavors. They keep coming out. <laughs> yeah, every time we find some that we we find flavors that we haven't tried before. Uh, so if you're curious, type in Tammy Dunn the crispery. And those videos will come up and you can watch those as well as this one. Uh, they were $4.49 each at Jungle Gems International Market. Uh, I have the peanut butter and jelly, the white coconut, um, cafe mocha, espresso, and the uh, mint chocolate chip, which is really cool. Yeah, that's the thing <clears throat> is, is uh, for the thumbnail, I like to get the picture of what the name of it is, but you're missing out on the, the cool uh, sides and stuff like that. Uh, Sometimes the, they have four sides. Sometimes it's just a block of rice crispy treats. Yeah. Okay. So you take it and you it doesn't really it sticks a little bit, but it's not bad. And you just pull it off like this. And it is absolutely <clears throat> huge. It's big. I don't know how far over you want it. Um, it is there are four servings in that block. Oh, so if I split it half and half, yes, make a make a plus sign. Yes, so four servings. It's one point five ounce, forty three grams. It's two hundred thirty calories. Look, when you cut a gourmet crispy rice marshmallow treat, always soft and gooey. Indulgence you deserve. They are made in Portsmouth, Virginia. Look. Oh, it's a little block of like oh, jelly. Oh wow. That's odd. Piece because it's only on that one. I know, one, it's got one little piece. It's on that one piece. The rest of it's not like that. That is weird. It looks like a Turkish Delight. It does. Here, I'll dip one. Yeah, that, that is very odd. That, it, that it's only... It, did you show that to the mm -hmm. camera? I did. I held it because up. this is like pink frosting. Yeah. That it looks nothing like this. Yeah, and, it, and it's just that one little square. Why well, have one little square of that? Maybe it didn't didn't maybe they mix a jello a, a jelly into a cream or something. And it didn't get mixed. Maybe that just didn't get mixed or melted or something. I don't know. It's very sticky. That's the whole thing. I do taste peanut butter. I had a turbish delight texture. It was kind of tough and chewy. Uh -huh. It was actually really good. I do taste peanut butter. <laughs> um, I got a little bit of peanut butter in mine, but I got a lot of that jelly though. Did it taste like strawberry jelly to you? Mm -hmm. well, so it didn't taste like turbish delight. No, it wasn't rose or anything. Like that. Right. It was like strawberry. Hmm. It's good. I don't get a lot of peanut butter, but you get a hint of it. Yes. So it's not like you're eating a nutter butter or something. But it is the texture is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's um, not like crunchy crunchy like you would like a raw rice crispy treat is or like a raw rice crispy is. It's right. kinda got a chew to it. Yeah. But it it's good is, though, it's not uh, hard. No, and it's a lot, uh, it is a lot to chew. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you, you're you getting... Um, coconut? Oh yeah, this is coconut. You, you're getting a lot. Of, the, the peanut butter though, you see all that coconut on there. Uh, I don't know where you want it. Okay. The peanut butter is a, it's just a nice sweet peanut butter. I wouldn't say it's Jeff peanut butter, but it, it's nice. Yeah, it um, is nice. I and the go. strawberry is a very, very slight... <laughs> Hint yeah, of strawberry. Yeah, see, I got a strong strawberry because from that you got jelly that piece. stuff. Yeah. But uh, the second piece I got was a lighter strawberry, and, a, and but still the peanut butter was pretty light for me. I mean, it was there, but it wasn't like, ooh, peanut butter, you know. Right. But you can tell you if can you didn't know what it was, you oh, would yeah. say peanut butter. This is uh, the white coconut, and it is 160 calories. Yeah, about a fourth of this would be a good helping. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, to have all that coconut sprinkle on there, it really doesn't have a strong coconut flavor, does it? Yeah. It's almost more for decoration than anything. I mean, you do get that. I do taste it a little, but... I don't <coughs> think they use like a oil, a coconut oil or anything no, like that. They didn't put any flavoring in it. No. The only coconut you get is what's on top. Yes. So, 
Yes, you can taste it, especially after you've swallowed. You can like get the after, uh, it still lingers, but it is absolutely not a strong coconut flavor no. at all. I, I wish, honestly, they'd mix coconut in with it. I do too, because I think it would have added a lot to it, uh, but it, 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 I do agree with you. I think it's just on the outside. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, because I, I don't even see any on the inside. But it still is fresh. It's still good. Uh, yeah, it still is very fresh. This is Cafe Mocha, and it is 190 calories for 46 grams. You do have to work to cut it. I wonder how. I think a kid would just try to stick it in their mouth. <laughs> I like it in like little hunks like this. So I would literally slice it into hunks like that. Mm. It's easier to manage. <laughs> Tell you what, you smell the, the coffee flavor instantly. Mm -hmm. This seems a little softer. I do not care for that at all. It tastes like burnt coffee. It tastes like a very dark, like black coffee. I agree with that. I mean, to me, it tastes burnt. Like, like when a coffee, um, oh when, when somebody gets the, the very, very end of the coffee pot and they leave it on. <clears throat> And it burns. I mean, that's. I can see that. It is a very, very bitter, strong, burnt coffee flavor to me. I, I do not like it at all. Yeah, Anything it, about to it. To me, it just tastes like a really strong coffee. But I drink, I drink regular coffee every day. Yeah, but that's beyond. It's very, very strong, and I agree. It does have an aftertaste that's kind of bitter. Mm -hmm. Um, I agree. This is just a big brown block. Yes. Uh, this is the espresso. And it is 150 calories for 44 grams. The www.thecrispery.com is their website. And they have so many of these to choose from. So it didn't make any difference that I don't like the mocha. It's like, who cares? There's so many more, you know? Yeah, the cafe mocha ended up having a very, very bitter flavor in my mouth afterwards. And these are good until <clears throat> August, or this one in particular, August of 2022. That's a long time. The espresso is a very, very light coffee flavor compared to the other one. This reminds me more of like a International Delights coffee, mm -hmm. like a creamer coffee. Good. Um, it's you still taste the coffee, but there's a lot of creaminess in there as mm -hmm. well, and so it doesn't have near the bitterness as no, the other one. No, I don't get very. I mean, I do get a little touch of bitter, but not much. So I like that a lot better. Now, I definitely could eat that. The other one, I wouldn't want to even eat. No, I it's too, eat it's too, too bitter. Ugh. So it ended up being that way for you too. Oh, the aftertaste is really, really, really strong. Because when you were eating it, you weren't getting it like I was on that one. Yeah, when I first, when I was eating, while I was eating it, it was fine. But then afterwards, it's like, no, it's a little too much even for me. Uh, this is mint chocolate chip. Yeah, August 2022 is when these were good until. That's a long time. Uh, 150 calories for 43 grams. Some of these are tougher than others. <laughs> Here, I'm going to try to give you a marshmallow. A marshmallow and a chocolate. That's what I want. Yeah. The topping is like a... It's, it's rubbery feeling. Do you feel that? It's not like frosting. Mm -hmm. It's almost gummy like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you what, if you don't like mint, you wouldn't be buying that. Because that tastes like toothpaste. It took, that's what that is. That's toothpaste. <laughs> it is toothpaste. They, they took green toothpaste and they spread it over the top and that's what they're using as their milk. I wonder if it's just in the topping now. I don't like it. I don't care for you. I don't want toothpaste on my dessert. I promise you though, I'm just joking. I know they didn't use toothpaste on it. But I promise you that is exactly what it tastes like they did. And it's so such a strong mint. It's it's permeated the, the rice crispy. The whole the thing treat. is just terrible. Yeah. The treat itself, I don't think they actually use mint in it. Uh -huh. But the mint is so strong it's just kind of all gotten into the flavors. Now, yeah, that's the one I agree. That one in the cafe mocha, I would personally not buy. No, never, never, never. But 
like I said, there are so many flavors, <laughs> caramels and ones with M&Ms and ones with uh, uh, um, Lucky Charms. And I mean, there's just all kinds of them. Well, out of these, I would buy the peanut butter and jelly and the coconut. Me too. Those I agree. Too I agree completely. And then if I had to pick one more, um, I would pick the espresso. espresso. Uh, I probably personally wouldn't pick it normally, but it's Right. Good. I would it's rather good. have two of the peanut butter and jelly. If you said you could pick three, I'd rather have two peanut butter and jelly and then and a coconut and then none of the yeah. other. And just keep in mind, coconut's really not strong coconut either. So. No. So really, you're just eating it for the Rice Krispie Treats. Right. Which is still good. Yeah. It's a very... These are all very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, it's it's they're good quality. It's just that some flavors aren't going to be to your liking. But I, I, my goal now is going to be to try them all. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.